How to plan a holiday to Italy. This video helps you organize a trip to Italy in 10 easy to follow steps. Once you've decided to visit Italy, especially for the first time, it's easy to catch yourself daydreaming daily about sparkling blue seas, exquisite food, delicious wine, rolling hills, and ancient cities. I've been to Italy over 350 times, and I still get excited when I start to plan a holiday in Italy. There is a lot to see in Italy. You can decide to plan a road trip to Tuscany or visit the main cities. Subscribe to my channel as I have many videos that will help you plan your trip. Step number one, check your travel documents. Check your identity card and passport validity. In many countries it is required that the passport is valid for at least six months or more beyond the date of your travel and Italy is no different. Check the expiration date and, if necessary, consider whether it is necessary to request renewal of the passport. If traveling with kids make sure you double-check the expiry dates of your kids' passport if these are valid for a shorter period of time. Make photocopies of your documents and take a couple of copies with you and leave a copy at home with your relatives or friends. This is good practice in case you lose any travel documents. Take with you your identification card and your license especially if you intend to embark on a road trip. Step number two, determine the number of days that you have available. Italy's 20 regions, each with its own identity. Landscapes, cuisine, and dialect differ greatly from one to the next, and each merits its own visit. If your time is limited, you'll be able to see Italy's highlights in a matter of days, but spending two weeks or more means you'll get to explore multiple regions and fall in love with authentic Italy. In one week, you'll be able to explore Italy's wonderful cultural cities, undoubtedly a highlight of any trip to the country. Florence, Rome, and Venice attract the bulk of tourists, and justifiably so, they harbor some of the world's most impressive architecture and works of art. Two weeks will give you more time to explore what Italy offers beyond the cities of art. You'll be able to travel along the stunning Amalfi Coast, where colorful villages cling onto the cliffside. So spare a few days for the Italian lakes, which offer some of Europe's most enchanting scenery, including Lake Maggiore or Lake Como, or Lake Garda. However, to experience Italy at its best, you'll need to factor in three or four weeks. That way you'll have enough time to discover a large part of the peninsula in one, or perhaps both, of its major islands, Sardinia and Sicily. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can binge watch videos about Sicily, Tuscany, and many other videos that will help you decide what you want to see and things that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Step number three, start planning your itinerary. Now that you have a clear picture of the places you want to visit, you can start planning your itinerary. Although at this stage you don't need to have all the details in place, you need to have an idea of where you will be visiting. This stage is essential for you as you need to have a clear plan to be able to start booking your flights and accommodation. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below and we'll be happy to help you. I also offer one-on-one -on -one consultations on how to plan a holiday in Italy. So drop me a message and I will try my best to help you plan the vacation of a lifetime. I will give you a lot of practical information, places of interest that you should not miss. I am an art historian and visited each region of Italy. I even deliver talks on cruise ships about Italian culture, so rest assured that you're in good hands. I will help you plan an unforgettable holiday in Italy as I know the territory inside out. This will help you save so much time in it and will help you maximize your vacation time in Italy. Just write I am interested in the comments below and I will contact you shortly to schedule a consultation to plan your dream vacation in Italy. Step number four, travel insurance. It is a good idea to take travel insurance if you are planning to travel abroad. Travel insurance can come in handy in case of lost luggage, flight delays, cancellation, current situation with COVID-19. Travel insurance will give you peace of mind in the unlikely event that any medical treatment is required. Prepare a pharmacy kit with all the medicines you might need such as analgesics, antibiotics, disinfectants, antibacterial, etc. Check out the link below for an awesome medicine kit organizer from Amazon. In Italy, you will find medicine in pharmacies and in other outlets known as parapharmacies that sell over-the-counter medicine and other supplements. In the main cities, you find pharmacies open 24-7. If you plan a road trip through Tuscany for instance it makes sense to keep a pharmacy kit with you just in case. Amazon has this amazing travel weekly pill box organizer with a medication reminder. Important because when you are on vacation, 
Sometimes you are so taken with the experience that you forget to take your medication or vitamin supplements and this organizer is really helpful. Make sure that you take enough prescription medication to cover you throughout the entire stay of your holiday. Step number five, book your flights. Now that you have a clear idea of your itinerary, you can book your flights to the airports that fit your destination. You can fly to Rome and explore the Eternal City and then fly back from Milan after exploring Northern Italy. You might need to book internal flights in case you want to visit the islands of Sicily or Sardinia for instance. Step number six, vaccinations are required to enter Italy. Anyone traveling to or returning from a European country, which includes Italy, is required to follow the latest vaccinations. The requirements are continuously evolving, so it is highly recommended to check the public health measures applied in Italy and related restrictions before traveling. Make an appointment with your doctor, who will advise you on the required vaccination. Step number seven, choose hotels and accommodations. When organizing a do-it-yourself trip to Italy, the right choice of accommodations is very important especially in the cities such as Rome, Florence, Venice or Naples. Choosing accommodation at the right place may alter your overall experience. A useful tip I can give you is to pick a hotel closest to what you will be doing most to reduce commuting time. If you plan to use public transport make sure that the selected property is accessible by public transport. The good news is that Italy is well served by public transport and trains are not expensive. The bad news is that you can expect delays and bus networks have different schedules on weekdays and weekends, and if you don't plan well you can end up stranded. I learned this through a bitter experience as once I had a train delay and lost the bus connection to the small Tuscan town of Pienza. I had to wait until the next morning for a bus. This meant that I lost money on accommodation and most importantly I lost vacation time which is very precious because it's limited. In Italy, there are many different hotels and accommodations. There is also a particular kind of accommodation known as a gritturismo. These are usually family-owned small properties that provide a more authentic experience and offer exquisite food using produce cultivated on their property or in the area. These are the things that make your vacation even more special. So dedicate some time to planning your accommodation in Italy. Step number eight, calculate the costs of your trip. When planning a trip on your own, calculating the cost might seem like the boring part, but it is essential. While you are looking for flights, hotels, insurance, etc., you will already start having an idea of the costs involved. Once you start narrowing down your preferences for hotels, flights, etc., you need to start adding the costs and see if you are within your budget. Do this exercise before you book. This way you are still in time to make any changes if you are not within your planned budget. Remember that you still need to allocate money for food transportation and additional spending money if you have not booked these already. One of the biggest expenses involved in getting to Italy. If you don't need to leave or come back on specific days, this gives you the freedom to search for flights using the low fare calendar search features that many airlines offer, which show you the cheapest days to fly. If you choose to book a consultation I can show you other hacks to save money on your trip to Italy, basically with my consultation included you end up spending less than if you had to plan your trip to Italy on your own. If you are on a very tight budget I can direct you to sites where you can get free accommodation in Italy. These places are scattered around Italy and offer great opportunities for individuals who really want to experience and savor the flavors and beauty of Italy. Step number 9 Travel Accessories and Clothing Make sure to pack some accessories such as camera and respective accessories such as memory card, lens filters, spare batteries, tripod, etc. Particular clothing, specific shoes, swimming costumes, sun hats or caps especially if visiting in summer as it can get quite hot in Italy. In Italy, it's a good idea to take a pouch to conceal and carry documents and money. Split the money you carry along with you. Leave some handy and hide some extra money or cards in the pouch. Underground stations in Rome and Milan can get pretty crowded and it often happens. The combination of huge crowds, disoriented tourists, and general chaos make train stations an absolute dream for pickpockets. Bus 64 in Rome for instance is commonly frequented by tourists because of its accessibility to main attractions and it's a pickpocketer paradise. Also beware that sometimes people at the ticket machines come next to you pretending to help you to use the machine. They are there to get your attention while their partner in crime steals your valuables and before you know it your dream holiday has a sudden turn of events. Amazon has many suitable gadgets and equipment for your trip. 
Check out the link in the description below for a water-resistant money belt with an adjustable elastic strap. Step number 10 for an exchange. As part of the European Union, Italy's currency is the euro. The euro functions much like the U.S. dollar in that it is subdivided into 100 cents. You will need some cash if you want to take a taxi from the airport to your hotel as not all taxis take credit cards. Getting ready to go to Italy. In Italy you can be sunbathing in scorching heat on the beach or skiing in sub-zero temperatures in the mountains. So pack your luggage wisely. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can come back to see this video if you go through the process of planning your holiday to Italy. Check out the description below for all the links you will need to start planning.